Hey there. Sorry here. <clears throat> so, um, I actually, I did the, uh, the exploration in the sealed tower over the weekend. I've only done the first floor because it took, <laughs> it took like an hour to do. I, I, I wanted to go in blind. <clears throat> I didn't want to like cheat and use the, the wiki to, uh, get through it quickly. I wanted to kind of experience it the way that it, it was supposed to be experienced. And it was a lot of fun. It just took, uh, it just took a lot of time. Uh, it, it's nice to get these exploration events where, you, um, you know, it actually feels a bit like a Final Fantasy game. There are like some puzzles in there, and it, it was pretty neat. Um, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, uh, the Sealed Tower is how you get access eventually to Garuda, who is the latest Esper that has been introduced. Uh, in order to open the Sealed Tower, however, you have to first, uh, you go to Chapter 1 of Season 4, uh, and you find the Special Forces training grounds. I, I did a YouTube short of this already. Uh, I uploaded that. You talk to the guy, like literally the first guy when you walk in on your left, he'll have a little question mark over his head. You talk to him and it unlocks the sealed tower, which is right here. Um, <clears throat> so you see, I've already beaten the first level. So I have access to level two. I have not started level two yet. Um, but you see, I'm missing a mission on level one. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to go back in and get that final mission. Um, I totally missed one of the treasure boxes. Um, I wasn't really keeping count uh, of the ones that, that I got. I got all the ones that were, were visible, but there is one that is invisible. It's in a hidden passageway, which I totally missed. Because uh, after about an hour, I was like, I'm not wasting any more time just like, you know, searching all over this map. I just want to get it done. Uh, but I do want to get in there and, and finish it so that I can get access to Van Harma's Elemental Burst Earth. Um, I do have an EX2 Van Harma, so, you know, if I ever want to use him on an Earth team, um, it would, yeah, it would be good to uh, to be able to do that. Um, who knows, I might use him, uh, might use him against Bialkyu at some point, you know, if I ever get a decent enough season four team to take against a Biocule. Probably not. So anyways, the, the missions are, uh, <clears throat> the missions are fairly simple. Um, no continues, uh, in order to get the upgrade to Van Harma's TMR. Um, obviously find all the items. Uh, I'll kind of walk through and show you where all the, uh, the chests are and how to get those, uh, as we go through. I have already gotten them, but, you know, it, it's no big deal. I'll show you where they are. And then uh, defeat um, Kauna Koninga's party. So that's the final boss. There are actually four bosses in each uh, each tower, I believe. Um, there are four in this one, at least. Um, you don't have to fight all of them. You just have to fight the one on the first floor to get access to the second floor um, of the of the of the level. And then the final boss to exit the uh, the, the sealed tower. Um, the other two are optional but both of them have treasures. So if you want to get that, obtain all items during the quest, you do have to beat all the bosses. And I'll show you how we do that. It, it's, it's fairly simple. I don't want to say it, it's too easy because, um, you know, these are not just simple, you know, simple mobs and bosses that you get like during the, the regular story. Um, they are fairly bulky and they do have, you know, require uh, some stronger units if you want to clear them quickly. So I'll show you. <clears throat> um, so it, it will filter your units for you because you can only take season four units into the sealed tower. You cannot take, um, you know, any other any other units uh, from uh, outside of season four. So it will auto filter them for you. A lot of people are putting Tyvus up. Um, if if you do have a Tyvus, I strongly recommend putting a Tyvus up in you know one of the tabs that is geared for this and um, I'll show you the gearing uh, that is going to be optimal. It's more important for level two um, than it is for level one, but I'll explain in a minute. <clears throat> uh, so here's the team. Um, so I, I've got Tyvus and Ish. Uh, they're great for this because they have the imperil with the imperil field on their LB. Uh, Runda, of course, is just going to tank everything for us and provide mitigations. Tyvus is there for uh, main DPS. Uh, and then we've got Leftia, who's a great uh, fire support unit and just general support unit. Uh, and then Tulian, who's going to provide some breaks, um, mainly for the bosses. All right, um, I'll show you the gear real quick. 
All right, so we've got uh, Tyvus and Ish here. They've got their STMR. Um, they've got Clouds Clothes and Gothic Amulet. Um, and that is because we want to give them 200% uh, accuracy. Now, that's not required for level one, um, but on level two, uh, there is a physical evasion field in effect um, throughout throughout the level. Um, and it's as high in some places as 200%. Uh, so by building a unit with 200% accuracy, you're guaranteed to hit. Uh, so I built them for 200% accuracy. All right, um, and you can see this is, <clears throat> this uh, is all the gear that we're using to achieve that. Um, yeah, I just gave him this just as a cheap vision card. Um, you know, whatever spread of killers you have, they're not really the main damage, okay? They're just there for the imperil and the imperil field. Uh, Runda, you know, pretty basic cheap gear. Uh, Runda head burst is great for upgrading Tyvus's uh, LB. Um, you know, if you give him all his like free equips and stuff from the story event, uh, that basically covers all of his resistances, which is really nice. Uh, makes him passive provoke. Really, really great uh, set of gear, and then just, you know, general bulk. I went pretty budget on this one. This is like a generic vision card, nothing fancy. And then Tyvus is also geared for 200% accuracy. Um, <clears throat> so 10-gallon hat, this is from the Final Fantasy 13 event that just ended. It does do 25% um, uh, accuracy. Soul of Palladia also does 25% accuracy. Um... And then, yeah, True Knight's Knowledge, The Mightiest, True Hero, they each give 25% accuracy as well. Uh, he gets 50% accuracy from his sword, and he has 25% innately so for a total of 200%. Uh, and then, obviously, his STMR is equipped. Um, Bunny Bosom Buddies is there mainly for the killers, just because it's got a nice spread of killers for this particular one. Um, you don't really need the chain limit boost, because if you have his upgraded TMR uh, equipped... Uh, and, and, and it's fully upgraded, then he actually has full chain cap boost innately, which is really nice. Uh, so you actually don't need any form of chain cap boost on Tyvus. Um, but yeah, I chose this one for the killers. <clears throat> All right, um, so my Tyvus has a pretty good spread, I think. Um, so we will be going up against a beast in this, in this one. Uh, we'll be going up against a, um, oh, what is it? Uh, a Reaper at the end. He's only got 200% Reaper, but that's fine. Um, we'll be going up against a, a demon, I want to say. Is it one of them a demon? And then one of them is, uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get in there. I can't actually remember what they all are. <clears throat> Alright, this is the team that we're taking. Hopefully this won't take too long now that I've already been through it. Um, but it'll just show you guys uh, how to do it. And then I'm going to go get that last mission. And I'll redo the bosses and everything, show you how I FTK it, you know, the mobs and whatnot. The encounter rate is pretty uh, obnoxious. So, yeah, we're probably going to encounter a lot of mobs here. Um, so here, we're just going to go straight on through. Um, now, you see I have the map. If you're doing it for the first time, you will not get uh, the map. You won't get access to the map right away. And I'll, I'll show you how to get access to it. I wonder if it's still going to let me walk over. Ah, uh, yeah, it's going to go ahead and let me. So you also won't be able to walk over the flames when you first get in here. So I'll show you what, what you do because you have to activate a couple of nodes to allow yourself to walk over the flames. <clears throat> you see there is a fire, um, a fire field. That is a permanent field all right, that increases fire damage by 30%. Okay, so for the mobs, it's pretty simple. All right, all we're going to do is have Leftia do the fire imbue. Tulian's going to do his LB. The idea is you want to you don't want to use very much MP um, because you can run out of MP pretty quickly if you just like if you're using a bunch of MP moves. So we're just using LBs here. Uh, now you don't want to just LB without making sure you you chain cap them. Um, it's pretty important that you you cap the chains on these, uh, or else you might not kill them because these these uh, mobs are fairly bulky. So I'm going to start with Tyvus and Ish, and then do the two Tyvuses, wait a minute, and then send the Chainers. Because Tyvus has a pretty long wind-up on his LB. So there's Tyvus and Ish, and there are the two Tyvuses. <clears throat> 
And that's pretty much what I do for all the mobs in here. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So luckily it's just a, it's a pretty simple reload repeat. <clears throat> Okay. Um, yep, so just left here, then time to snish. And there we go. All right. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to go through this too much. All right, so I'm gonna assume that you don't have access to all this stuff. So you see right below, right, right here, Okay, this is where you get your map. Now, obviously, you won't have access to it right away. Okay, you have to unlock the uh, ability to walk over the red flames, which you get from, in just a second, as soon as I tackle another obnoxious mob. <laughs> okay, let's reload. Okay. Easy as peasiest. All right. Oh, yep. Yeah. So you go into this one. All right, and you step on the circle, and that will unlock your uh, your map for you. Okay. Um, or no, sorry, that won't unlock, unlock your map, but it will give you access to the little monument that I showed you, which does unlock the map. All right, but you have to access the, you have to be able to walk across the blue flames as well <clears throat> in order to actually get to the next, uh, the next level. And so to do that, um, you'll walk into this store up in this corner. All right. Ha -da -da. And chain breaks sometimes, it's not a big deal. Um, usually it ramps up fast enough. Um, you know, I, it's <clears throat> it's a bit of a pain, but um, it still gets the job done. Um, and so here is where you step to get access to the areas that are covered with blue flames. All right. Now you see a treasure box up there. All right, I'll, I'll um, explain how to get that. I'm not gonna go all the way back to get access to this one uh, later. Um, notice there is a little ledge there. You can actually jump off that ledge um, after you acquire this this treasure just to make things a little bit quicker. All right, so now that we've accessed the, the, uh, the blue flames, <clears throat> we can walk over the areas with blue flames now. Okay. All right, um, before we leave though, all right, we do want to go up this little ramp over here, so we do have to go back, oh my goodness, <laughs> because that's where, that's where the treasure that I missed is, it's hiding uh, over there, um, so I've got to go get that, i got to make sure I get that this time. It's a bit monotonous, I know. Uh, <laughs> um, I will put some timestamps in here just so you can like skip straight ahead to certain sections because I know it's probably like you don't want to see me sitting here uh, fighting mobs the whole time. Oh boy. Okay. All right, so this treasure box has one of Van Harma's uh, silver crowns in it. <clears throat> so definitely want to make sure you grab that. Uh, and then you can come out here, all right, 
real quick, I'm going to show you. So this is how you get access to that other one that you saw on the ledge, but you notice there are these force fields blocking your way. In the next, uh, in the next floor up, um, there will be some orbs that we're going to use to kind of manipulate these force fields. They're like different colored force fields. So remember this, because I'm not going to come back here again, because um, I've already done it. Uh, but this is how you get access to that other one. By And when you get to the next floor, you'll deactivate the yellow force fields. And then you come back here and go get those crowns. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to go get that missing treasure. So the hidden passageway is right here, and I missed that. <laughs> uh, it's funny, you would have thought I would have seen it when I was crossing, but totally missed it. Totally missed it when I was crossing this little pathway, because you can see it right there. You see it. Um, but yeah, totally missed that. Now I got it. Now I can fully crown my Van Harma. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and you know, there's no reason you can't bring Van Harma uh, to this one, but probably fewer friends building Van Harmas. I think Tyvus is probably the better uh, the better unit for this in general. Um, all right, so now we can finally move to the next level. All right, let's see if I can get out of here without another encounter. Oh, yes. All right. So this is the uh, the boss that you have to defeat in order to get to uh, the next floor up. I will re-challenge it, of course. <clears throat> Norandel. Okay, now this is not going to be just like an easy uh, first turn kill. Uh, the thing is pretty bulky. Um, it does put up a defense buff, so we do have to get rid of that. Uh, so we'll do Dispelga first to get rid of that. Flame Garden and Prayer for the People. Uh, oh, and this is an aquatic boss, that's right. Okay. Uh, Runda is just going to do his LB for mitigations. Uh, Tyvus and Ish can go ahead and do their, um, <clears throat> their LB. I mean, if you want, you could wait on it and do it next turn. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just wait on it. We'll do it next turn. Uh, make sure you do Ferocity of a Genius first and then Will of a Hero so you're imbuing yourself with fire. All right, Tulian. <coughs> Excuse me. Tulian's just going to do Health and Grip. Uh, so you do have to make sure you have that... Um, that gauntlet, that specific gauntlet equipped that gives him health and grip for the 88% breaks. All right, and the Tyvuses are just going to do, oh, my friend Tyvus doesn't have um, his STMR equipped. That's okay. Uh, so in this case, he can just do, um, we'll just do time to finish this, and no, we'll just do that because we don't want to spend too much uh, MP here. Um, and in fact, I'm actually just going to do that as well, because I don't want to spend too much MP. Alright. <clears throat> mm. 
Okay. Um, so left here we'll do our LB just for the, uh, the buffs. All right, Tyvus and Ish do their LB. And then basically the same thing we've been doing. Actually, to make sure that the chain doesn't break, I'm not gonna use his LB. Okay, we're gonna do triple flame X. Okay, and this should kill the boss. Okay, easy peasy. Uh, nope, I don't want to re-challenge, let's just... All right, so here is the level with the force fields, okay? Um, so this is a, a bit of a, a puzzle that you have to do in order to make sure, if you want to, you know, get all the missions, get all the, uh, the chests and everything. Uh, so you see there's like a red and a blue force field. There's also a white one. And I'll show you how we... Uh, how we get those in just a second. All right, so I'm gonna have to reset my my turn one, my FTK. Oh, actually, don't have to do much; just have to do that. Okay. So now we're going to come into this room. There'll be a little Moogle in there. All right, and he'll tell you that something in my palm tells me the temperature inside the tower can be changed. Um, so that's what these little spheres are uh, are doing. So <clears throat> the spheres are actually um, the spheres are actually changing the fire field um, that you have. And so um, if you, if you do. If you deactivate all the spheres, so by touching them, you deactivate them. If they're deactivated, you touch them again to reactivate, okay? If you deactivate all of them, um, the fire field goes down to 10% instead of 30. If you activate all of them, the fire field goes to 50%. So before you challenge the final boss, you definitely want to make sure you turn on all those, uh, all the orbs, okay? Um, and, and in fact, that's one of the parts of the puzzle is you do have to turn on all the orbs uh, in order to unlock one of the doors. So um, <clears throat> to unlock the, the doors to get to the final boss, you have to first deactivate all the orbs. All right, and we'll come out here. All right, and you'll see by deactivating all of them that gets rid of the blue force field. So any door or any passageway that's blocked by a blue force field uh, is deactivated when all of the nodes are deactivated. And you see, you saw there at the beginning our field is now only 10%. Okay, Okay, and yeah, this uh, this team has never run into uh, a mob that it couldn't kill in the first turn. Um, I have had times where you know I miss the chain or something like that, and then you know you just set up and do it, do it again. Uh, so you see, the doors are obviously already open. They're also when you first encounter it, there will be these flames where you see these three holes here. There will be flames blocking your way. Since I've already done it, I've deactivated it. But with all the nodes deactivated. In the, in the little Moogle room with the orbs. <clears throat> you then come to this little tombstone here, or this, and it'll say, um, uh, what does it say? You must quench the flame, or something like that. And so by deactivating the orbs, you have quenched the flame, or put out the flames, and then one of the little sliding doors will open. And then this one over, mm, my goodness. These mobs are ridiculous.
Oh man, I left one. All right, no big deal. Uh, all right, we'll kill him real quick. While we're at it, we'll just go ahead and take away our poison. So I gave um, I gave Lefty a recluse pouch. So I'm gonna use uh, Panacea to get rid of the poison from our last battle on everybody. Uh, so yeah, here we'll just do some chaining. It uses MP, which I don't like, but, um, you know, it's actually, we could probably get away with just doing one. Let's just do one to save our MP. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, and then this one... You, you touch this one after you activate all the orbs, and that will unlock the second door to get to the middle passage, which takes you to the final boss. All right. Um, now to, you know, to unlock uh, certain force fields, um, you'll activate, you know, one, two, three, or four uh, of the orbs. Um, there isn't, like, you don't have to worry about doing, like, a pattern. It's just, you know, one orb uh, unlocks... Um, you know, a certain door. Uh, see, this is a red force field. There's a yellow, there's a blue, and a white. And so, um, leaving them all, uh, leaving them all quenched, all right, so they're all extinguished. Uh, leaving them like that uh, deactivates the blue force fields. I believe if you open, oh, yeah, if you turn on one, I believe that deactivates which one does that deactivate not the red not the yellow okay um, is it the white one yeah okay so you you activate one orb and that opens this door which is the door you need to um, that turns off one of the flames uh, for one of the mini bosses, okay? And then if you come back in here, activate two orbs, I believe that one, that either does the red or the yellow. I think this two orbs does, uh, no, okay. Must be three orbs for the yellow. Yeah, okay. So activate three orbs to do to deactivate the yellow force fields. And those are the ones that are blocking that last crown, that last treasure chest in the floor before. Um, so when you do that, make sure you go back to the previous floor, go back and, and get that final crown uh, from there. All right? And then to get access to that door, which, uh, to that final door, oh, you want to make sure we open all the flames. To get access to that final door, to remove the flames for the final boss, you activate all four. <clears throat> so now we can get in here. All right, you step on that force field, and that gets rid of the, uh, the last wall of flames. All right, and by activating all four, you can also touch the final uh, tombstone to unlock the final sliding door for the final boss. Okay, so now we have access to all the bosses, and we'll go ahead and do them. Oh, whoopsie. I messed that up. Because I, <laughs> I forgot that my Tyvus, uh... Poor Runda. My goodness. He just got beat up. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, that would have been hilarious if uh if all this Yeah, make sure you remember to uh um <clears throat> This is actually going to take me a couple of turns now, isn't it? That's funny. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So Runda needs to do mitigations now. So here's what you do if you accidentally screw up like I did. Um, 
actually, we don't really need to do anything here because we've already got breaks. Um, yeah, these guys aren't anywhere close, so I'm gonna wait and do LBs next turn. Let Runda. Uh, <clears throat> Run to try and get back on his feet a bit. All right, now Leftia can do, um, and he, another reason why we put Riku's pouch on Leftia. All right, we can do Panacea now. Now we can do uh, some proper, proper chaining. Um, and yeah, Runda will just do. <laughs> My gosh, I can't believe that. <laughs> That's too funny. <clears throat> All right, um, let's do this one first. <laughs> oh, that would have been hilarious if I had died to a mob before I even got to a boss. All right. All right, so I've activated everything. So we've got the 50% fire field, which is what we want before we tackle any of the bosses to increase uh, Tyvus' damage. So I'm going to do this mini boss first. All right, and since Runda is still uh, hurting a bit, I'm going to do a couple of Kiragas. I just want to make sure he's up to full health before we take on any bosses. All right, all right, looking good, should be good. All right, back to our normal, regularly scheduled programming. Back to our FTK. So yeah, we'll re-challenge this one. I think this one's uh, Raw Love. <laughs> yeah, he's a beast, uh, literally and figuratively. Um, and this one should be a pretty quick kill. All right, so we'll do a, uh, our usual like one turn setup. Okay, so we'll do Flame Garden, Prayer for the People. Um, we could do we could do Shelga uh, just for. Uh, some magic mitigations, because Runda takes care of the physical mitigations. I can't remember if this boss does magic damage, but he might. Uh, Runda does his LB. Tulian does health and grip. Uh, Tyvus and Ish, Ferocity will to Svard. Um, and then the Tyvuses just do their um, their cooldown. Oh, he does have he does have Tyvus's spirit. How come I didn't see it before? That's weird. Okay, no worries. We will use that on the final boss. <clears throat> okay. Okay, yeah, so he just does a bunch of physical stuff. Too easy. All right, so now Leftia does her LP. All right. Um, Tulian does his LB. Run to chains. Uh, LB, 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 and we should be good to go. All right. Easy peasy. So all the mini bosses should be. Um, Pretty, you know, pretty much like two, maybe three turn kill. Um, the final boss is a bit bulkier. Um, I think, uh, I think for me it took three turns, only because my Tyvus is, um, and and because my Tyvus is EX two. If you have an EX two friend, it might take four turns. Um, but yeah. All right. So the other mini boss is over on this side. 
can't remember what this one's name is. They all have... Ah, oh, yeah, the insect. That's right. Uh, the worm. Okay. Um, so, yeah, pretty much the same thing we did last time. Flame Garden, Prayer, and uh, Shelga. So the boss doesn't do any kind of buffs. Uh, Runda does his LB. Tulian does health and grep. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to set up for an LB here. Set up for LB here. Okay. Alright, that's why we wanted the Shelga for the magic damage. I knew one of them did a bunch of magic damage. <clears throat> but yeah, with Runda's general mitts and some magic mitigation, it's yeah, it's not doesn't hurt really. Alright, and then uh, just the usual LB, 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 and chain it up. Go. Nicely done. All right, so that's three out of four. Let's go knock out the big boy and finish this thing up. Finally get my all missions clear. Oh my gosh. Of course, one more, one more mob just to screw me up. They, they think I'm gonna forget to reset don't they? Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do Flame Garden and uh, some Kiragas just to make sure everyone's good on that. Alright, you are not going to trick me. Oh, actually, all I have to do is reload, don't I? Because we all did our L. Perfect. Too easy. <clears throat> Alright. Oh my god, you are chain broke just at the worst time, didn't it? Ah, oh, good lord. And there's the paralyzed, no worries. That's why we've got left you. Alright, I actually don't like... You know what? This actually works out well. Um... Might use some ethers on. Uh, take this opportunity to use some ethers on our Tyvuses for next next round. Um, probably should have used elixirs actually, uh, and then we'll just do uh, a couple of flame spurs. I might actually use an elixir now that I think about it on my friend unit because his MP looks a little low. I'd rather have full MP going into the final battle, if I could help. <clears throat> if I can help it, just to make sure we were able to use both of our cooldowns. Alright, final boss time. Okay, so it breaks our defense and spirit. That's fine. We've got mitigations. Okay, I don't think he does any kind of buffs on himself. No. All right, so Leftia, as usual, Flame Garden, Prayer for the People, and Shelga. All right, boom, boom. All right, this time Tulian is going to do um, Health and Grip, and oh, he doesn't have enough MP to do George Kicks. Are you kidding me? Um, that's hilarious. All right, let's do an elixir on Tulian. So he can do health and grip. He still doesn't have enough? Oh, because it hasn't kicked in yet. Okay. 
Um, because I'm going to try and push this to a four turn clear. I, my previous one I did it in three turns, but I'd like to try it, to do it in a four turn if I can. Um, just to show you what to do. All right, and then Jord kicks. That way we get the 89% defense break. Um, and yeah, we'll just hit it with some fire. All right, um, so we're just going to use this one because I think this one lasts for... Um, oh, it only lasts for three turns. Hmm. So I want to use it. Yeah, because I don't. I want to make sure it doesn't expire. So my friend is ex3, which is fine, but mine's ex2. So what we can do here is just do. We'll just go ahead and do a couple of LBs. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Let's do. Yeah, because this lasts for four turns, perfect. All right. We'll use this here. All right. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying this a little bit differently because I did a um, three turn clear before, but I want to do it in a four turn clear this time. All right. Um, so I'm not too concerned about the damage. Um, we've got Lefty here to um, heal us back up if we need it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Runda. All right, we're going to go ahead and do our LBs here to do a chunk. This probably won't kill the boss, but that's fine. Okay. Um... Yeah, just our usual. Um, um. Yeah, I don't expect this to kill the boss. That's fine. Okay, Runda does his SLB for the bigger mitigations. Um, Tyvuses are going to set up. Elemental burst fire, so they do their two cooldowns. An elemental burst fire, and then we finish the boss off next turn. Um, Tulian can just... I don't think he needs to do anything. Boss is still broken, so uh, Tulian can just guard. Uh, Lefty can do her LB this turn. Um, Tyvus and Ish will also do Ferocity, Will, Fill, LB. No, not Fill, LB, sorry. Ferocity, Will, Elemental Burst Fire, because they'll use their SLB next turn as well. Hmm, Tulian actually died, wow. <clears throat> okay. No big deal. It's funny, I've never actually seen what the boss does uh, on turn four, <laughs> on turn three. Uh, so that was, that was a new one on me. Okay, not a big deal at all. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to have Leftia use this skill, uh, Mach Einsatz, which is... Um, uh, gives everybody in the party a um, a chaining move. Ba -ba -ba, where is it? Magic artillery. All right, it's uh, Oriole Ray, and so we'll just have the Tyvus's cap. This is certainly going to kill because we are like super buffed up now. We're dropping SLBs; they're all buffed up. Uh, we should be good to go. Um, I'll remember next time to uh, give Tulian more spirit. So let that be a lesson to you. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Are we ready? Let's do it. Wow, hit the damage cap. There you go. Good job. Twenty bill. I'd say that's enough. So obviously if your Tybuses are EX3, you don't have to worry about the meteor at all. But 
That's what you do if you've only got EX2 Titus. Tivus, not Titus. All right, and that's it. Uh, we now get out of here, and yeah, job well done. I can finally get my all missions clear. All right, I want to see that all missions clear. Come on, show me, show me, show me. <clears throat> uh, let's check out the damage details. Yeah, so obviously Tivus is carrying the load there. Um, boom. Yes. All right. So now that Vam Harma that I've never used, uh, I probably still won't ever use, but if I need to, I can. <laughs> Um, so yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Uh, I, I thought the ex exploration was pretty fun. I'm looking forward to doing um, the, the next level. Um, I probably won't get to that today, and I'll obviously want to run through it once before I do a recording just to, you know, make sure that it's it's not too messy for you guys. Um, but yeah, I, uh, hopefully you guys can use the timestamps and whatever to kind of jump around to certain sections if there are parts of this that you want to see. Um, and thank you so much for following me, and I will see you on the other side.